So hi everybody, I'm Paul. Um, I'm at the Chicago Music Exchange uh, in Chicago of all places. I don't know why they named it that, but I guess that's what it is. We're in the right town. And I've been asked to do a video on an HXDA amp that we make. And we got our hands on the amp that was the famous amp at Live at the Fillmore. And it said the band's name in Macon, Georgia on the back of the amp. And when we plugged it in, we were stunned. We were stunned at how much it sounded exactly like the record. Almost like the amp was as much of the tone as the guitar player and the, the guitar was. I was just stunned, right? And the thing about it was, if you listen to the begin beginning of Whipping Post, that song has a huge amount of bass in it, but it was very clear on this old Plexi amplifier that he had only plugged into the treble channel. Where was all the bass coming from, right? And super leads don't have that much bass. And I was like, fine. And it was clear it was only that jack, because that jack was bent and all the other jacks didn't look like they'd ever been touched, right? It was really easy. And so we first plugged it in, this, what we heard was, all this bass and these low notes and it was like wow what is that and the other thing that was really cool that was going on was that it was very clear that if you played single notes they were clear but if you played double notes they were distorted right so um, it was like I'm just trying to make sure I've got all the switches in that position so uh, if he goes so you can it's almost touch sensitive that what was going on with the amp and I was just like well that's cool and then when we opened the amp up, it wasn't any plexi circuit like we had seen. It was more of a bass amp that, than it was a guitar amp. And it was only 50 watts, which we just hadn't seen, you know? Well, so we made one, and we cloned it, and we sent it to uh, Derek Trucks, and he said, well, that's it. You got it. And then he, Derek ended up buying the amp, and he uses these as 100-watt versions on the road with the Almond Brothers. And he knows what the original was sounding like because he's got it and he knows what the clones sound like because he's got it and he told me he thought this thing sounded as good or better than the original amplifier which i thought was really good news so then we went well, wait a minute six months later hendrix was buying amps and we that's pretty well documented what the parts changes were in those and so we put those on switches and so we, we, you know, we put those on switches and then if you turn the amp down on the treble channel, I mean, he was using that amp to do the Wind Cries Mary, right? I mean, people don't remember, don't really think about it, but Sweet Home Alabama and the police records and these Hendrix records that are dead clean were played through Marshalls. They weren't being played through what you would think as a clean amp. So, you know. Clean as a whistle, right? But that's not what Foxy Lady was. If I turn this all the way up. There they got it that time. <laughs> so, if you listen to the Winterland record, he is, he is sitting there doing it, trying to find the right notes. You can hear it on the, on the record, at, you know, him doing the beginning. And he finally gets the low note to come in and they kick into the tune, right? But it's about, I don't know, 40 seconds long, him trying to get that note to come in. To me, that sounds right. Now, we didn't put it in a clone box. We didn't put it in a, you know, a small Marshall box. We didn't do that. We left it in our, in our setup. But... I'm telling you, that is the circuit, and I think it sounds gorgeous. And, you know, it clean, even with it set all the way with that gain, if I put it on single coil. That's the same amp as I, I didn't touch the amp when we just got that. So it cleans up beautifully. There was a reason why these things are so legendary and used on so many records, because they clean up beautifully when you turn down. They get all these different notes. That's an HXDA.